Good morning, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started now. I'm Hank from Senior Advisor Group. I run the marketing department here, and uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about social media specifically for financial advisors, including some strategies, some tactics, as well as some tips that will help you get off the ground a little bit. So first off, I want to talk a little bit about long-term goals. Um, one of the most important things when delving into the world of social media is to kind of define some of those long-term goals. What exactly do you want to get out of social media? What do you want it to act uh, as, a, as maybe just some branding, maybe doing PR, maybe you want to act as a point of engagement. Um, you really want to define what exactly that is before uh, you start just doving around in there because that way it kind of gives you some guidance as to what direction you need to be going. A great piece is Coca-Cola's social media strategy. If you haven't checked it out, you just go on to Google, type in Coca-Cola social media, and it'll pop up there as the first thing that comes up. And it is a great piece that really helps define some of those core values uh, for the Coca-Cola company, and you can kind of use that as a benchmark for yourself. You know, let's talk about what kind of type uh, conversations you're going to be having online. You're going to want to define that within your strategy. Um, at what point do you want to take the conversation from being on Facebooks, for example, to being offline to a, to a phone call conversation? Um, that's something that you're going to want to define as well up front as far as your strategy is concerned. Um, it could be for you, you have a broker dealer that's, you know, willing to let you uh, kind of talk a little bit about, say, annuities in general, but once you've mentioned specific products, maybe then it's time to take that conversation offline and into the phone conversation or maybe a face-to-face -face meeting. You'll also want to define what types of communities or groups you want to be involved with. Um, typically the best groups that you'd like to be involved with on social media are the ones that naturally communicate together and with each other. What I mean by that, for example, is say a church group online. You can create your own community, your own group uh, on Facebook for your church. Um, those are great groups to have because everyone naturally wants to talk back and forth using that channel and that's something that you want to kind of get into. Carve that niche for yourself within that community so that you are the touch point, the person who's the, the financial advisor for that community so that when they are ready to have that conversation, you're the first person that they come to with their needs financially and for retirement talk a little bit about tactics. So tactics are really those short-term goals. So once you've kind of defined your long-term strategy, you want to look into what are those short-term, you know, goals that you want to define for yourself in order to get to those long-term goals. Uh, for example, one of them might be uh, build your friend and like base when you're first getting started. You may want to have, uh, say, 50 likes before you're ready to start um, engaging in some of those conversations. One thing I do want to recommend is listen, or in this case, read if you're on, uh, say, Facebook, for example. Um, go in and just, and just kind of look around, see what people are talking about, and that'll give you a great idea of how to engage them, um, what types of conversations they're already having, and how they go about doing that. The best way to harness the power of social media is really to, to listen in on some of those conversations. Um, let's talk a little bit about selective engagement. What I mean by that is, you know, pick your battles as far as those conversations are concerned. Um, if somebody's online, they're talking about how much money they just made in the market, perhaps a safe money solution is not the right conversation to bring up with that person. Um, say if somebody was talking about how much money they lost in the market, maybe a safe money solution would be exactly the type of conversation you want to have with that person. Um, lastly, communities and groups. Um, what kind of tactics do you want to, to bring to the table when it comes to those communities you're involved with? Uh, for example, you want to make sure, say, you have 50 likes or 50 members before you start engaging um, on that group. So your tactic, your first tactic would be to um, first get those 50 members in your group, and then the second tactic may be to build some selective engagement with the members of that group. Here's some of the tips, tricks of the trade that I've learned um, through a lot of our advisors. One of the great things that Facebook offers is the events tab, and you'll find that right underneath your homepage on the left-hand side there. Um, what this allows you to do is invite any of the people who have liked your page or heard your friends to an event that you host. A great example of how this could work is you could have an online workshop or webinar. 
um, and then invite all your Facebook friends to join you for that online workshop using the events tab. It's really easy to use and it's maybe a two, three step process. So what you would do is you'd click that events button, title your event with a new name for, uh, you know, say whatever topic you happen to be discussing and then invite your friends and use that link to your webinar to, to get people to get on the call with you just like we are having this call today. You can also create different groups. Um, underneath that same events button, a little further down is the create group tab. Um, very similar to the events tab, you just select what people you would like to target, what people you'd like to invite to the group. Um, obviously, the target message is one of the great things that you can do with the group. So once you get on Facebook, say you started your group, you can uh, open up that group page and have a message that's specific to that group. So for example, if you're a member of a church or a you know, church community online, you could have uh, specific invites to that group or specific messages that you want to uh, send out to those those people that are members of the group. That way you can kind of cater a little bit um, to them versus just a general kind of broadcast of what type of content you'd have going out. So let's talk a little bit about the types of content that we uh, would most likely see online and see posting on Facebook. Uh, make sure they always align with your short and long-term goals. For example, if you're if you're kind of in a early stages and, you, and your tactics are to just really get people to friend and like you, um, maybe just posting kind of some general, um, you know, press releases or financial articles will be more appropriate than uh, company updates because you're really just trying to get people familiar with you at, at the beginning versus, um, you know, continuing to update them with new things that are coming out from your company or your practice. Um, so anytime you get uh, some new financial news, definitely want to put that kind of stuff out there. Um, it's easy to just copy that URL, paste it into that status update, and hit send um, because it'll take whatever thumbnail is, which is meaning the little image that will be associated with that article, and put it up on your Facebook so there's a good visual. Um, and then somebody who's uh, another user on Facebook can simply click that and read the articles that you posted. Um, Always want to make sure to avoid negative or disparaging posts. Um, we don't want to badmouth anybody else on Facebook because it is such a vocal community. Um, so, you know, make sure all your comments are positive. Um, you, there may be some negative articles. Let other be a, people do the talking. You know, if there's something that's negative in the news you want to post and maybe get that conversation going, I mean, feel free to post that, but I wouldn't say anything negative or disparaging yourself. Make sure that that kind of information comes from a third party. Um, lastly, one of the uh, great tools that I like to use to get some of those articles is Google Alerts. So if you have a Google or Gmail account, you can simply sign up for Google Alerts. Um, you type in whatever keyword or phrase you want to get uh, emails on and it'll email you every day, um, every time there's a new posting online or with a phrase that you have specified. Say uh, retirement planning, for example, anytime there's a new article uh, posted that Google finds of worth. They will send you an email with a link to it, and uh, you can kind of go ahead and read those. Um, they're kind of general in the sense that you may want to read through them real quick just to make sure they are appropriate for what you want to be posting. Um, Google is a mathematical equation, uses mathematical equations to determine what the validity of an article would be based on your phrases. So um, it is a computer deciding that, so you want to definitely make sure and read those articles first so that they are pertinent to uh, what you're trying to uh, target message with. Uh, Facebook also has the ability to uh, do some great branding as far as uh, kind of your imagery and what you want to be involved with. Um, the upper left here uh, is one of our advisors out of California. You can see his page uh, has his Bakersfield banner across there, very community, very localized. Um, kind of a different route. We've got Stan the Annuity Man. He's got a kind of a national icon in the annuity world. And you can see he's got his national brand up there, not specific to any hometown or anything. Um, so it really, you want to make sure that your branding also aligns with those strategic long-term goals. And you can tell that both the advisors here have uh, completely different long-term goals, although both very successful. So what do you do now? Now that you kind of are a little bit familiarized with how um, what you want to do, maybe starting to reach some goals that you've attained, or maybe you want to define some of those goals. Um, what I'd tell you is, if you don't have any social media right now, 
go ahead and just go to Facebook, start one, dive in, swim around, and familiarize yourself. You can't really hurt anything if you, um, you're just starting out. You just kind of want to familiarize yourself with the, with the software and just, just kind of get to know your way around so that you're familiar with how to post, how to use the events tab, and all that kind of stuff so that um, when you're ready to start getting to work, uh, you have no problem getting around in there. If you don't, if you already have a social media page, but you don't really utilize it, start developing those long-term goals. I recommend checking out that Coca-Cola uh, social media strategy uh, PDF because it's got some really great uh, mission statements and visions for Coca-Cola, and you can kind of use that to benchmark what you want to do for your practice. Um, so say you do have some social media, but you don't really have any directions. Start building those short-term tactics in order to reach those long-term goals. Um, if you already use it and you have a great direction, you know, keep up the good work. Social media is one of those things that you constantly have to monitor and constantly have to work with. It's, you know, it's kind of like brushing your teeth. Every morning, get up, get on your Facebook, check it out, maybe post a new article, and then go about your day. It doesn't have to be a constant thing during the day, but you do want to do it every day or almost every day if possible because um, those conversations are live and they are time sensitive. So thank you all for your time. Um, there is the link if you want to type in the URL directly for the Coca-Cola social media PDF, as well as uh, check out our YouTube page. We've got a bunch of brand new videos up there, some good stuff for you guys. And later today, I will post this video up there. So if you want to review it, or maybe you didn't get to see all of it, you will be able to watch this webinar itself on our social media page on YouTube. 1-800-256-1696 uh, for any questions regarding social media for financial advisors. Uh, thank you for getting on the call today, and everybody have a great day.